Printing with VeroClear model material makes clear and translucent models both possible and practical. With a little post-processing, you can control the degree of model transparency. The clarity of VeroClear parts will improve after one to two days in an office environment due to the exposure to white light, or quicker if photo bleached. For more information on photo bleaching, contact your reseller. Traces of previous materials affect the clarity of VeroClear parts. To prepare the printer for VeroClear printing, replace at least one of the currently installed cartridges with VeroClear. Then, run the material replacement wizard and select the flushing option appropriate for your printer. Finally, clean the print heads, wiper, and roller waste collector thoroughly. Properly adjusting print settings helps to increase model clarity and reduce post-processing. Let's review these adjustments. Orient the model so that the critical surface faces upward. For maximum clarity, choose the glossy surface finish. Overexposure of VeroClear parts to UV light results in a yellowish tint. To reduce the number of print head and UV lamp passes, use the high speed printing mode if available. If the parts on the tray are different sizes, try to orient them so that their Z height is as similar as possible. This is to reduce overexposure of the clear material which can cause yellow discoloration. Once printed, you can enhance the transparency of models using the following procedures. For most models, the most efficient way to remove support material is to use a cleaning unit that employs high pressure water jetting. Be careful not to damage delicate models when cleaning with a water jet. Media blasting is not generally recommended because it can create small pits in the model surface. However, for a frosted surface finish, mask the parts of the model you do not want to look frosted and then media blast the unprotected area. To remove surface imperfections and unwanted layering, make sure that the model is completely dry and lightly sand all surfaces with 200 grit sandpaper. Dry sanding may leave scratches on the model. To remove them, lightly wet sand the model with 400 grit, then 600 grit, and finally 1000 grit sandpaper. Rinse the model between each sanding to remove any dust or residue. To lubricate the model surface while wet sanding, use soapy water, mineral oil, or vegetable oil. For an exceptional finish, sand the model with 1500 grit micro mesh sandpaper. You can continue sanding with 1800 grit, 2400 grit, 3600 grit, and 4000 grit micro mesh sandpaper. Rinse the model between each sanding to remove dust and residue. Finally, apply a polishing compound such as 3M plastic polish to a buffing wheel or a polishing tool. Work the polishing compound onto all surfaces of the model, then buff off the compound with a soft cloth or clean buffing pad. For more post-processing documents and videos, visit us.